The right billing, inventory and integrated accounting can provide major time-saving benefits and it is the absolute necessity for your company's survival. My Boss Retail Billing is a fully integrated total solution for your retail and wholesale business. Manage your customers, suppliers, inventory, tax, pricing, etc. in the My Boss Accounting System. Retail Billing will synchronize with integrated My Boss Accounting System and provide you a total solution to manage your business with ease. You need My Boss Accounting, Server or Cloud Edition to use My Boss Retail Billing Standard Edition add on. Initial Setup Step 1 My Boss Accounting Setup Activate the following modules in My Boss Accounting Software, Server or Cloud Edition from Customize. Bank accounts, create at least one bank account in this module. Cash accounts, create at least one cash account in this module. Sales invoice. Inventory items, you should import inventory items to retail billing add-on from my boss accounting software. Tax code, create at least one custom tax code in this module. Inventory location, create at least one location in this module. Customers, create at least one customer in this module. Step 2. My Boss Retail Billing Setup. Click on My Boss Retail Billing icon on your desktop. You should have an administrator user password in My Boss Accounting to use My Boss Retail Billing add-on. Validate the administrator user password in My Boss Retail Billing initially to log into the system. You should validate the administrator user password again if you change the password in My Boss Accounting. Enter username administrator and the password. Click on continue button. Once you successfully log in, company file drop down will be activated. This will display companies you have created in My Boss Accounting. Continue button will change to login. Select the company you like to use. Click on the login button. Step 3. Validate and sync data. Click on the sync icon. Click on the Get Companies button. Now Validate Modules button will be activated. Select the company you want to validate from Select Company drop down menu. Click on the Validate Modules button. If you activated the required modules in My Boss Accounting, you will get a success message. Click on the Sync Date button. Now all your bank account, cash account, Inventory location, tax data in My Boss Accounting will be synchronized to My Boss Retail Billing. Close the screen. Settings. Go to Settings menu and set up the following. Only Administrator user can do the following settings. Set up terminals, unique invoice number sequence. Set up users and assign company. Set up default accounts, cash and bank. Set up billing message. Set up salesperson. Set up preferences. Set up terminal. This screen allows you to set up terminal invoice number for My Boss Retail Billing. User should use the assign terminal or select a terminal name when logging to the system. Click on add button and enter terminal prefix with three digits. Enter terminal name, point of sales invoice number. Click on save button to update. Note, you should create unique terminal numbers for each company even if you have multi-location. Make sure you select the correct terminal name when you log in. Set up users and assign company. This screen allows you to create users for retail billing and assign company for these users. Click on add button and enter username and password. Add company to this user, where this user can log in and enter sales. Select the default terminal for this user. If you wish to provide sync data, post invoices and receipts, just tick the relevant options. Set up default accounts. This screen allows you to set up default cash and bank accounts for selected company from accounting system. You should do this set up to post receipts to accounting system. Select the company file. Select cash and bank account. Click update button. Note, you must reset the default cash and bank accounts again, if you sync data. Set up billing message. This screen allows you to enter docket receipt printing header and footer info. Enter your company address and footer message. Click update button. Set up salesperson. 
This screen allows you to create salesperson for point of sales screen. Click on add button and enter salesperson code and name. Click on save button to update. Set up preferences. This screen allows you to set up default customer, location and print preview for point of sales screen. Also allows you to set selling price fixed, where point of sales users not allowed to change prices. Select the company file. Select and tick your preferences. Click update button. Import items. You should import inventory items from my boss account to use this add-on. All your inventory items should have a code. Go to my boss accounting and inventory items. Go to the bottom of the screen and on your right, you see a small button called batch update. Click on the batch update button. Click the mouse on the grid. Or control plus A to select all items. Now press Ctrl plus C to copy all data inside the grid. Go to Retail Billing and click Import Items icon. Click Paste Item Data button to sync item data to my boss Retail Billing. By ticking Override Selling Price on top right will overwrite updated selling price from Retail Billing. Now you will see all your items on the screen. You must first copy from my boss accounting and then click Paste Item Data. Else you will get an error message. Click Update button to import inventory items to my boss retail billing. Note, if you make any changes to inventory items in my boss accounting such as create new item, edit name, etc. Then you should read the above task again. Only administrator user can import items. You can edit selling price from retail billing system as well. Set selling price. Retail billing allows you to edit selling price of imported items. Selling price can be edited only by administrator user. Go to admin icon. Click on drop down menu. Click on set selling price. Click on selling price column and enter your new price. Click on update button. Daily tasks. Invoice, post invoices and receipts. Now you can start invoicing your retail customers through retail billing sales screen and print receipts. You must post sales and receipts to my boss account into update sales, receipts and inventory. Invoice. Retail billing point of sales screen allows you to enter sales and receive payments instantly. Click on sales icon. Press F10 key. Or click new icon to start entering sales. You need to do this only once unless you exit sales screen. Select customer, salesperson and location. You can set a default customer and location through settings and preferences. Select discount type. If you provide line discount, you must select the discount type before you start entering items to grid. Press F2 key and you will see a search pop-up screen. Search item and press the tab key, then press enter key to update item onto the grid. If you use barcode scanner, just scan the item from item code and it will automatically add to the grid. Now you can update quantity, discount, price if needed by selecting the function key mentioned on the icon. Press F7 key to update payment. Press tab and arrow key to move between payment type. Click F11 key to save and print. If you want to save only without printing, then press Shift plus F11 key. Post invoices. You should sync post invoices manually to my boss accounting to update inventory and other transactions in my boss accounting. Important note, you should be connected to internet if you are using the cloud edition while you are doing this task. My boss accounting software should be running on your server if you are using the server edition while you are doing this task. Click on post invoices icon. Select the records range you like to post. Verify and post data to my boss accounting. Post receipts. You should sync post receipts manually to my boss accounting to update cash book and other transactions in my boss accounting. Important note, you should be connected to internet if you are using the cloud edition while you are doing this task. My boss accounting software should be running on your server. If you were using the server edition while you were doing this task, click on post receipts icon. Select the records range you like to post. 
Verify and post data to my boss accounting.